Okay, so I've got my USB Type-C on my phone and my laptop is in front of me. I'm going to be sharing my VPN connection using the USB cord to my laptop. So before this video begins, I just want you to know that um, this method of sharing your internet connection using the USB will finish your internet data because your laptop is going to start downloading things in the background and you don't want that unless you have unlimited data and you are too rich to understand what I'm talking about. So I'll suggest you use a firewall software. I use NetBalancer and I'm not going to show you guys how to use it in this video, but I'll make a separate video for that so you guys can check it out. It's not a free software, but you can use it for seven days to see if you like it then before you go ahead and purchase it. All right, so I just want to put that out there so no one blames me when they run out of data and they start screaming that I was the cause of that. So yeah, just wanted to let you guys know. All right, let's begin. All right, so the first thing to do is to head over to this website. I'll suggest to do it on your phone, but if you want to do it on both your laptop and your phone, it's no problem. I did it on my phone, so I think it's easier that way. Anyways, when you get here, if you're on your phone, you tap on this and it will take you to the Play Store. <laughs> hey guys, this is future version of me. Old version of me, forgot to tell you that um, the PDNet app, the free version, has a timer. So if you are browsing while using the free version, it's going to disconnect at a random time. So I would suggest you just pay for the premium version. And uh, yeah, trust me, it happens at the worst time. So just keep that in mind. All right, so head back to this guy that always forgets. And then you download the um, PDA Net app. And then on your computer, you want to click on this and it should download the software for you. Now, I don't know if it works on uh, Mac OS, but there's a link here so you guys can try it out. I use a Windows laptop, so that's all I can see. So after you're done downloading it, then you want to minimize and then go to your downloads folder. All right, so this is the downloads folder and now I'm going to install the software. I had to uninstall it because of this video, but it's no big deal. So I'll agree to terms and conditions. I think I'm just going to speed this up until it's done. It doesn't take too long to even. So we are done with installation on the computer. Now we'll start doing the installation on the Android device. So you don't have to do anything on the computer for now. Just leave it the way it is and then head over to your phone. And uh, I have the PDNet app on the home screen, so I'm going to open it. As you can see, it has all these options here, but before you can do anything, you have to enable USB debugging mode. So even if I tap on this, it's going to ask me to go to my phone settings and do it. But if I tap on settings, it's not going to take me there. So I have to enable developer options first. Now it depends on your device, but for my device, I have to head over to settings and then about phone. Then I'm going to tap on all specs. And um, here where it says me UI version, I'm just going to keep tapping it until it says you are now a developer. Now for your device, if you don't have this um, set up, you can just go to the beginning of your settings and then type build number. And whatever comes up, you just need to tap on it. It doesn't work for me. So whatever comes up for you, tap on it and keep tapping it until you see developer options enabled. And then next you search for developer options. All right, and then you open it. Now you just need to search for USB debugging. And this is it right here, USB debugging. So I'm going to activate it. It's going to give me this warning, but I know what I'm doing. So I've, I've done this before. Okay, so I just tapped on OK. And this is where you start using your USB and the device. I only have one USB port on my laptop, unfortunately. So I'm going to connect the, this is USB type C. I'm just going to connect it to the device. Ugh. And then connect it to the laptop. So the next thing you want to do is um, connect to your VPN app. Now, I always recommend using the free app, but um, recently I found that um, some of them always have issues like servers going down and just not connecting. Like I have this video here of um, one of the favorite VPN apps that I mentioned in my every proxy video. If you haven't seen that one yet, I'll leave it in the description so you can watch it. And you know, I was enjoying using the app until it started giving me this issue. So I just had to stop using it. So I would recommend you use uh, Potato VPN. Like I started using it for like three days now. And I think it's nice. It's free, but uh, there's a paid version for it too. Now with the paid version, I would recommend you go for it because whenever servers go down, at least you, know, you can complain. But with the free ones, if the servers go down, well, you're not paying for them. So why you don't have anyone to complain to? I'm going to open it now. Then I'm going to agree to the terms and conditions. And you see, it's going to ask me to sign up for the seven day trial. Well, I'll just tap on the X at the top and then I'll select any free server. So I think I'll stick to the USA. And then it's giving me an IP address. So I'll head back to PDA Net. 
then I'm going to select the first option here, USB data. Then I'll come down here on my computer, right click on this icon up here. If you don't see the icon, it's because it's hidden among one of these ones. So you just need to drag it down. And after that, just click on it and then you click on connect USB. And just give it a while to connect. And as you can see, my IP address is 1592231237, uh, which is the same as the IP address on Potato VPN. So that's basically how it works. And uh, I don't think I have anything else to say. So if you have questions, just leave them in the comments and I'll try to respond. Like I said, I'll leave a link to the VPN I'm using and maybe other VPNs that I'll be testing in the future. So if you guys run out of VPNs, then you can just come back to the video and check the description and you see all the VPNs that I will personally recommend to you guys. Alright, stay awesome and yeah, I'm seeing you guys in the next video. Bye bye.